Okay, this is Chris, and uh, the purpose of this video is to demonstrate um, how to get and uh, install Virtual PC 2007 so you can set up your own virtual machine to play around with on your computer at home or in class or in the hotel room, your laptop, or wherever you're at. So, just to try to keep it simple without having to give a bunch of links out, I'm going to open up uh, Internet Explorer and I'm going to go to google.com and type virtual PC 2007 and hit enter and there you are you can download it right here you can go to that link and download it so once you go there and you download the virtual PC there's the file I didn't want to wait on it obviously for the video but here's the file you're gonna run the exe file and of course it's going to take forever so that it can suck up as much time on this video as it can. That's why they wrote it to do that. All right, so welcome to the wizard, and we're going to click next there. And of course, I'm going to get a message telling, hey, it may not be supported by this version of the operating system because I'm using Server 2003, but that's okay. It is. So I'm going to click OK, and I'm going to hit Accept Next, and uh, just pretty much take the defaults, anyone's use. Install there is fine, so you're pretty much just going to take the defaults there unless you have a specific place you want to install it. And we're going to let it run through. Okay, so there it is installed. I'm going to hit finish. I'm going to click Start All Programs, and here it is right here. It doesn't have a folder, it just throws it right in the All Programs menu. So I'm going to click that. It's going to pop a wizard up that says, hey, you know, just as a heads up, it may not work with um, uh, this operating system. I'm going to hit Do Not Show This Message Again and click OK. Now, welcome to the wizard. It's going to help you try to create a virtual machine. I'm going to hit Next, and you're going to get these three options. I'm going to say create a virtual machine. So I want to create a new one. I'm going to hit next. And I can name it whatever I want. Um, whatever operating system I'm going to be doing this with, whether it be Server 2003, Server 2008, uh, Vista. I'm going to say Server 2003 because that's the CD I've got in there. 2003 server, sorry. Next. Now, since it had the keyword 2003 and it, it's going to try to detect the, um, the operating system, and there it is right there. So that's fine. You know, if you know what operating system and it's listed here, the newer operating systems aren't, but you can always hit other. It's not a big deal. It's not the end of the world. You can change this information here. So I'm going to hit next. Okay, and ask the RAM. It's going to recommend is 256. You can adjust that. So I'm going to say adjust it. I'm going to put, we'll say 5, 533 will be fine. Um, granted, the more physical memory you can dedicate to this, the better it's going to be, but you also take away from your um, your platform operating system that the virtual PC is going to be running on. So I'm going to hit next, and then it says, do you want to use an existing virtual hard drive or create a new one? Uh, we're going to create a new one. Next, and then it asks you, okay, it's going to store your virtual hard drive in the documents and settings, your username, your My Documents, and that's what it's going to be called you can dedicate this virtual amount of space. Keep in mind that it doesn't actually, like it says 65 gigs here, it doesn't actually steal 65 gigs from your hard drive. It just allocates that to the virtual um, PC itself and can can use a maximum of that. So it's it's, it's a virtual hard drive, so it, to, the, to the little lab environment, it's going to appear as though there's 65 gigs, but it's not using that actual amount of space from your hard drive. Uh, and it will just use however much you, you fill up on that virtual PC. So I'm going to hit next and I'm finished. I'm going to hit finish there. Okay, so one of the most important things, and this is where it seems like everybody messes up at, is verify a few things. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hit settings and of course you can verify that you know all this looks right. Verify your network adapter is showing up and everything. Um, verify you know you have your CD-ROM listed there so just make sure everything looks good here and and as soon as you click you double click on this to start make sure your Windows CD the one you're gonna boot off of that's gonna let you install is booted into the drive whatever you're gonna be using to install from and then you need to go to the CD menu and enable your physical disk and you may have to do this a couple of times so here we go I'm gonna double click there's my CD menu right there
and I'm going to say use physical uh, drive D which would be my CD-ROM drive so whatever yours is on your screen is what you're going to go with make sure that is selected now I can't select it because I'm connected in remotely here it's not going to let me but um, you should be able to and it'll map to your CD-ROM drive and then you'll be given the opportunity to boot off your CD if it doesn't give you the opportunity to boot off your CD make sure that's selected and reboot this this uh, image by saying control delete okay and uh, from there you should be good to go so as you can see it's going through this little fake boot process and stuff so um, away it goes now again I because my um, I'm connected in remotely the way I am it's not letting me select it but you should be able to select it if you got your disk and then you boot off your CD and then you just run to the installation and so that's pretty much how you uh, create a virtual machine and then you'll have that virtual machine to play around with on top of your real operating system this will keep you from having to like blow away your whole operating system and install from fresh uh, from scratch so all right hope that uh, this video helps you uh, you can keep updates with me on twitter.com slash instructor chris and youtube.com slash instructor chris one two three